YouTube vinyl community. It's Mark Mai for my uh, last installment, part three of um, just a 70 record uh, dig that was just amazing. <clears throat> um, went to a place called Record Theater. Uh, they had gotten in a large number of uh, boxes and crates of mostly jazz uh some big band stuff some easy listening but a lot of jazz stuff <clears throat> and uh most of it i mean they hadn't even gone through yet probably 14 or 15 different boxes uh a dozen crates um some just awesome stuff they hadn't even priced out yet uh miles davis dizzy gillespie Thelonious monk they're just the uh, sonny rollins clifford brown the list goes on and on <clears throat> so, uh, needless to say, I'll probably be going back uh, in the next week or so, see if I can't pick up some of those. They do a pretty good job of pricing used stuff. Uh, you know, if it's really good stuff, uh, it'll be up around the $10 range. Uh, they do a lot of $6.99, $8.99. Um, <clears throat> some other stuff will do $0.99, cents, a buck ninety-nine for used. Um, but all of these came out of uh, 79 cent bin, uh, 79 cents or two for a buck. So, really happy with that. Um, I put them in alphabetical order, and we just finished up with Henry Mancini on the last um, video. So this one we start out with Herbie Mann. <clears throat> this is called Mellow, and uh, this is 1981. So it's probably a smooth jazz kind of record for him. Nice picture on the back here of him. Looking forward to hearing that. <clears throat> Next, uh, this one says Victor Mono on this side, but it says RCA on that side. Wingy Manone, great trumpet player. Um, volume one. Still in the plastic. Phase four, I love my phase four. This one's Gypsy with uh, Werner Muller. So, these are always nice glossy finish on all these records. And back in their gate folds. And this one has your traditional information on phase four recordings uh, process on the inside. So, nothing special there, but man, what a great record. Of those phase fours. <clears throat> Jerry Mulligan, the arranger. This is with the Gene Krupa Orchestra, Elliot Lawrence and his orchestra, and then Jerry Mulligan and his orchestra. 1946, 1949, and 1957 are the recording dates here. But all they're all arrangements by Jerry himself picture it looks like a Gene Cooper orchestra here. Oh, nice. Can't wait to hear that one. Here's another one that's in the plastic. This is a VSP Verve. Moving man, Howard Roberts. Howard Roberts is a great guitar player. I'm excited to, to get a, cu a couple of his. The last uh, um, last week I got uh, one a record by him and now this week I got another one by him so I'm really happy to get started on the, his stuff. Again the VSPs have advertising here for other VSP records and then here's just uh, the, the song list and not much going on here. Personnel but uh, no, no real minor notes or anything like that with that. Another one in the plastic is Pee Wee Russell. And this is uh, the Everest record label. Pee Wee here has got some great people with him. Uh, looks like Ruby Braff, Bud Freeman, Vic Dickinson, Nat Pierce on piano and arrangements. Not much going on on the back. Peaceful side, Billy Strayhorn. Excuse me. Um, this is a 
is actually a, a gatefold. It's only one record, but it's a gatefold. A solid state is the uh, the record label. <coughs> Golden Archives series. Sam the Man Taylor. Uh, the, uh, one of the other ones I got in the last video, I think it was, was so awesome. Love these guys. These are what they would call honkers in uh, back in the day. Tenor saxophone players that played just, just with all their feeling, all the emotion and everything just pouring out of that horn. It's awesome. And we got quite a few uh, Jack Tea Gardens. This is the first one on Capitol. It's called uh, Shades of Night. It's still in the plastic. Uh, just amazing. Looks like it's played maybe at most a handful of times. An awesome shape. Another Jack T. Garn. This one is uh, on tops. Jack T. Garden swinging down in Dixie. Advertisement on the back for other Tops records. Looks like Johnny Desmond, Andre Crevin, The Three Sons, Kate Smith, Les Paul, The Ink Spots, Mel Torme. Some big names on Tops. Another tea garden. This one is, well, it's cracked here in the middle, but basically still sealed. Virgin vinyl. Tea garden with the Paul Whiteman and his orchestra. 1936, 1937, 1938. There's the Whiteman Orchestra there at the bottom. Just amazing. This is on Fanfare Records. <coughs> Another tea garden. This one is just simply entitled In Concert. This is on uh, Sounds Record label. Good Dixieland music there. Archives of Jazz, Tea Garden, and uh, Pee Wee Russell together. St. James Infirmary, starring Dinah Shine. And this is uh, BYG Records. BYG, I don't know. Never heard of it before, but can't complain. Tea Garden and Russell together. And this one I really can't wait to listen to. Spotlight on Toots Thielman. <coughs> Playing his guitar and whistling on the cover. Nice, glossy, shiny. It's not in plastic, but man, that cover is in great shape. This is on Inner City Records. And uh, on the back, we got some advertising for a couple other Toots Thielman records. Live, Live 2, and Live 3. There you go. And I, uh, I couldn't pass this one up when I saw it. Uh, it's not in great shape, but Cal Jader sounds out Burt Baccarat. It's got, looks like a coffee stain here. Coffee stain. Well, I'm, ho I'm hoping it's coffee in this. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a great record. <clears throat> Glad to add it to my collection. It's a gatefold. picture of Cal playing here. DJ Copy, not for sale. Love it. And this is uh, on Sky Label. Mm -hmm. 50 cents. Can't beat it. Love Cal Jader. And <clears throat> then the new a new album by Mel Torme. 
Recorded in London with the Chris Gunning Orchestra featuring Phil Woods. This is on a Griffin label. I love Mel. The Velvet Fog. <coughs> Still in the plastic. And this is a Verbs Choice compilation. Mel Tomei again. Um, I think I have uh, the Verbs Choice. I have. Uh, you know, I have one for Count Basie, and I think I have one for um, uh, Sammy Davis Jr. So, again, these are compilations, the kind of uh, greatest hits. South of the Border, Perfidia, Take the A-Train, You in the Night and the Music, Blue Moon, On a Street Where You Live, Moonlight in Vermont, and of course, the Christmas song. Uh, one of his most famous tunes. Charlie Ventura. <clears throat> Great saxophone player. Um, this is called Euphoria. It's with Buck Clayton, Benny Green, Bill Harris, Charlie Shavers, Kay, Wing Kay Wingding, and Jackie and Roy. Again, it says DJ copy. Known for promotion only, not for sale. It's a gatefold. Nice picture, um, a lot of information on the inside here. Liner notes by Russ Chase, editor of IA, IAJRC Journal. Okay. This is actually two records, two record set. Midnight in Harlem, Chick Webb. His band. This is on uh, Ace of Hearts record label. The mono record. Nice shiny glossy. Again, it's in great shape. In the back, not much going on. Cootie Williams and his orchestra. And this is on that uh, Alamac record label. Cootie Williams, of course, a great trumpet player, was with uh, Duke Ellington. Joe Williams. Joe Williams sings about you. And this is on Roulette. And Joe Williams was uh, with Count Basie. Count Basie was on Roulette for a long time, so great label. Still in the plastic. Looks in great shape. Nice picture of Joe on the back. Penny Lane and Time, K. Wingding. So, playing some Beatles songs here. Penny Lane, Time, Eleanor Rigby, Here, There, and Everywhere, uh, Man and Woman, Mini Skirt. So, there's some other tunes in here, too. It's on the Verve label. It is a single record, but it is a gatefold. And last, Rights of Swing, composed and arranged by Phil Woods. Uh, some, some great names on this one. This was on the... Um, I need my glasses to read that. Uh, Barnaby Candid Jazz label. <coughs> we have uh, Phil Woods, Ben Bailey, uh, Julius Watkins, who was a French horn player. Um, Sahib Shahid, uh, baritone sax, and Tommy Flanagan on piano. Okay. Still in the plastic. So, and it is. There's three videos of 70 records that I got over a two-day period. I am super happy with all of them. I can't wait to get into them, start listening to them, uh, especially some of the ones that are uh, you know, virgin vinyl. It's always nice to hear without the uh, pops or hisses or something like that of, of the crackling of, of previous use. So uh, I'm really excited. Can't wait. Um, I think they're all in great shape. I've looked at a lot of them. The vinyl is nice and clean. 
I, I, I just couldn't be happier with uh, two for a buck. I hope you enjoyed them. Please, you know, let me know about them if, if you have any comments on the records or on the artists or whatever. Please share. I love hearing it all. Love talking about records. Love um, hearing about your records. And I hope you love hearing about mine. Thanks very much, and uh, see you again soon.